So I had zero intention of filming today. In fact, I've just woken up from a nap. Uh, my hair's a different color. Yes, for my regulars. Welcome back. Any new rainbows? Hello. So yeah, no intention to film today. I literally woke up, looked at YouTube and saw that Demi Lovato released a new music video for her new song, I Love Me. And I've been on such a massive self-love journey over the last few years. And self-love is such a huge part of my life and something that's really, really important to me and something that I want to, you know, share with my followers and share with my rainbows that I thought it was a good idea to do a makeup tutorial based off one of the looks in her music video. So brows have already been applied. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of setting concealer base thing you know base is applied so i really love the red lip look from her music video the eyes the skin everything seems kind of glossy bronzed the eye makeup looks beautiful but very very simple as well so i'm going to try to recreate that i'm going to use my tarty beauty palette just because it's got a lot of those gorgeous colors it blends like a dream and yeah these shades right here mm -hmm. so i think i will actually do a wash of aura with the matte just all over my lid which normally I don't really do especially when I've got a tacky concealer base but I think because this look is so blendy and minimal I think it would be a good idea so who's stockpiling toilet paper at the moment <laughs> isn't the world gone just crazy so I'm gonna go in with soothe all right I'm just dusting this over my lid I've got a very very fat but soft it's not densely packed um, blending brush because I want to go for that kind of hazy smoky effect so windscreen wipering this into the crease or just above really so you want to be able to see this color pick up a little bit more of the exact same color and focus it again just slightly more in this outer portion. So now I'm gonna go in with a darker shade, slightly more denser brush, and I'm gonna go in with Ritual, again, just the matte. And again, mainly just in that outer crease, outer corner, I'm gonna softly do it onto the outer, maybe third of my eyelid as well. If you guys haven't seen my review of the Tati palette, oh, you need to watch it. It's definitely one of the best palettes I think I've ever come across. All right, now I'm gonna go in with Soothe in the metallic version and just with my finger, pat that on to the lid. I don't know if it's really metallic on her lids. It does maybe look a little bit more matte, but because her whole skin, her lips, everything is quite dewy, work quite nicely. So I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner. So eyeliner I'm gonna to use today is Kat Von D's Anti-Precision Pencil, and I do find it blends quite well. I'm just gonna mainly concentrate it in the outer portion and work it in well to like my lash line. In the inner portion, I'm mainly doing it on my actual waterline. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've actually filmed like a makeup tutorial. I don't think I've been inspired to do anything recently. And I think that's okay, especially when it does come to self-love and self-care. It's important not to like force yourself to do something if you are not filling up to it or your creative juices aren't there you know what I mean all right so just over the top of that I'm going to go in with a mixture of memory and ritual so I do have some lashes these are lashes from model rock these are the pinup angel lashes all right so I'm going to prime with the ordinary high adherence silicon primer so I caught up for lunch with a friend the other day and we were having just a conversation I guess about self-love and, and stuff like that. Foundation is going to be RCMA. My shade is Gina Beige. And I had the biggest like aha light bulb, oh my god, kind of moment. Because I feel like with my self-love journey, everything that I've learnt 
has been stuff that I've pretty much found out on my own, um, taught myself in a way. And I mean, a lot of it's kind of common sense stuff like unfollowing accounts that make you feel like shit. <laughs> but a lot of the other stuff has kind of been stuff I've talked about. I've learnt myself and I have talked about a lot this a lot on my Instagram. But she had the biggest, like, when she told me this, I was like, oh my God, that is just so spot on. She basically said, for most people, God, I wish it was for everybody in the entire world. I really do. But she said, for most people, when they grow up, their parents are their biggest motivators, their biggest supporters and encouragers in a way. They'll tell them they're beautiful. They'll tell them they're strong. They'll encourage them to do things and tell them, you know, they can do anything they want, which I think is amazing. But as you get older, obviously those words of encouragement that are constantly there, you know, as your kids are really young or as you're really young, they kind of dwindle and no fault of the parents or anything like that. And this is not blaming parents or anything like that. It's just, you know, what happens as you become an adult, as you become a teenager, you know, that kind of stuff for most people dwindles in a way like that motivation in a way. So when my friend told me she worked out that you literally almost have to start parenting yourself when you reach your early 20s or 30s or whenever you know when, once you've moved out of home and you've just found yourself kind of flailing around and you're thinking what's going on even teens you know and she said it's almost like you need to start parenting yourself in a way and this is like again not saying anything towards parents not saying anything towards my parents nothing like that it's more, you need to start being that voice. You need to start being that constant. You're doing amazing. You look so great today. Wow, I love your hair. Even not like physical things, even like you're so smart. I believe you can do this, you know, stuff that your parents would normally say to you when, when you're a kid. And once you've moved out, of course, that kind of stuff dwindles down. A little bit of concealer. And I was just like, oh my God, that is so true. Like you, you need, no one teaches you kind of that stuff or you seem weird doing that kind of stuff or saying that stuff to yourself. Like it's not something that gets taught. It's not something that's really spoken about, but I think it's true. I think you have to learn to do that. I think you have to learn self-love. I don't think for anybody, self-love is just given to you and you're just like, oh, it's amazing. It's something you have to teach yourself. It's something you have to learn or be taught how to do. And I was just like, wow, that's just so amazing. Like I had this big, like holy balls moment kind of thing. It's just like, wow, how come I never realized that earlier? I just had to share. I thought it was amazing. And I'm probably getting the analogy completely wrong. But when she told me it, I was just like, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> so I'm going to set my face with a little bit of translucent powder. And for my face, I think I'm mainly going to focus on a bit of bronzer and blush. No, no massive amounts of contouring, but I want to get that glow. So I've just got some Too Faced milk chocolate. So I'm just kind of brushing it over my nose as well for like that sun kissedy kind of look without any harsh contouring. Then I'm also going to go in with the Balm's Hot Mama. This is a blush. It does have that little kind of shimmery, iridescent quality to it, which I think for this look is really, really nice. Because it's already giving you that kind of glow from within. I'm going to go back to the eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to mimic those similar shadows along the lower lash line. And then ritual and even a tiny bit of memory. A bit more of mascara on the lower lashes. Oh, crap going everywhere. So lipstick, I'm gonna use Model Rocks Cherry Wood. And 
and then over the top I'm going to do Silk Oil of Morocco. This is their Argan Lip Stain in Raspberry Rush. Obviously a clear gloss would work perfectly fine as well. A little bit of highlighter. This is the BYS Diamonds Highlighter in the shade Energy, which does have that kind of goldy reflect to it. I like these highlighters because they're kind of glossy, wet looking, but they're really affordable. A little bit under the brow bone. So there you have it, rainbows. I <laughs> cannot believe I literally woke up and was like, I'm going to film a makeup tutorial right now. And now, now I'm going to go and edit it. How? I, I don't know what's going on. I'm going with the flow. <laughs> So I hope you guys like this video. I think this makeup is actually really flattering, but it's very easy to do as well. And it's quite simple. No cut creases, nothing like that. Definitely check out my social media, my Instagram, Facebook, if you guys are wanting some body positivity, some sexy mum bods. Oh, yes, yes. But it is something that's really close to my heart and something I'm very passionate about. So I try to share a lot of that intermixed with my YouTube stuff and makeup and all that kind of jazz. So definitely check that out. Um, subscribe, like the video, all that jazz. And I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.